Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael Manugin with Sam Stern and Caleb Merriweather. Tonight we have the undefeated Rock Canyon taking on the Regis Jesuit Raiders. Sam, tonight's going into tonight's game. Jamil Safadine, 15 points per game. What are your thoughts on him? Jamil Safadine, really our best player, averaging 15.2 points per game. Really nothing, nothing really bad you can say about him he's had a very productive season thus far comes in every game producing not only on the offensive end but in the defensive side too always using those hands of his he just has the most beautiful three-point stroke on that squad always looking for it off the dribble and on the dribble and I'm excited to see what he can do tonight and going off last game the loss to George Washington there was that one good player with us Sam Bannock who was really strong throughout that whole game tonight I think he's going to be a key player for us facing the number one Rock Canyon. 12 points per game. What are your thoughts on him? Sam Bannock, a phenomenal player. Part of the what I was saying during our last project, or during our, our last broadcast, I called it the RJ3, kind of like how there was the OK3 in o Oklahoma City with Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, and Russell Westbrook. Those three guys are really their main guys that they focus on every game. You talk about Jamil Safdin, who we were just talking about, and Sam Bannock and Elijah Martinez, both averaging double figures, too, along with Jamil Safdin. They're going to look to each other to provide those wide open opportunities to be able to score, to be able to get wide open three point opportunities. That's the key, is really getting each other open off the dribble, kicking out, that's, that's the key. And if they can get Sam Bannock started, we know he's a three point scorer, we know he can take it to the hole. He is a phenomenal player. If they can get him started and get looks, this should be a great game for Regis. Hey, look, we talk about Elijah Martinez, 12 points per game he's averaging. What has he been doing this year that's better than last year? Really, what he really what he has been doing is um, creating plays not only for himself but for other players like Jamil, getting open shots for Jamil, and he needs to um, use his quickness against the defenders to get by and finish. Yeah, finishing is going to be key. Sam, the three point shot for Elijah this year. You've been watching the basketball team for a long time. How much has it improved? Coming into this season on that tough loss against Chaparral in the playoffs second round, Elijah Martinez knew he needed to work on his shot. Already coming into this season, we're 13 games in. You can already see the difference. He's knocking him down, shooting it at a 40%, which is really high mm -hmm. for a high schooler. And as he was saying, not only is he hitting the three-pointers for himself, but he's providing three-pointers for everybody else on the team. You talk about Matt Wheelock also, who's averaging eight points per game and coming off that bench, sometimes even starting like last game or last home game against George Washington, he has the three-point ball. All, almost everybody on the team does. It's just a matter of Elijah Martinez, Sam Bannock, and Jamil Safdie finding him. And I feel like Elijah Martinez really been sculpting and paving the way when it comes to assists. Yes, he's been doing a really good job at creating opportunities for the, uh, every single player. Rock Canyon, undefeated, ranked first, 13-0. and Coming into this game, it's going to be tough for Regis, right? But at the same time, they're a beatable team. Someone has to beat them. Star player Sam Mastin, their guard, averaging 22 points per game. It's nothing compared to Jamil or Elijah. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to work on defensive-wise. Sam, tell us a little bit about the Raiders' defense. Well, the Raiders' defense has always been known for how staunchly they play, they play their defense. They're everywhere on the court. They're always looking for it. And as you mentioned, this Rock Canyon team, 13-0 first place, it's no joke. And no. every year they are really one of the best teams. Last year they had Kevin Sachs and McCaw who really paved the way to what was a top five position last year. And really they were 20 points per game scores, really reliable guys. You talk about this season, Mastin and Gilbert, 20 point per game scores. Last year didn't get a lot of playing time. Kind of reminds me of how it works in the college games. The, the bench players in their freshman year usually don't play a lot. Sophomore, it starts to increase. Now that they're seniors... They're, they're the heads of the hill. So it's now up to them to see if they can produce. And as you can see, 22 points per game, they've been producing. Yeah, and as you said, Tyson Gilbert, another guard, averaging 15 points per game. He's another star player, both seniors this year. And so they've been on this team for four years now. They're going to be able to pave the way. But at the same time, Regis also has many seniors on their mm -hmm. team that are always starting and playing. So it's kind of, it's, if you look at it, it's an even matchup. If you take out the records, if you take out the stats, it could be an even matchup. Mm -hmm. 
It is, and I don't know about you, Caleb. I, watching Tama Tuatelli, it, that's one of the first names that comes to mind off the bench. We, you talk about depth. That's really a big thing in high school basketball, depth. Obviously, Rock Canyon has the depth. That's why they have a 13-0 record. Although we are 12th in the state and 10-3, and we have quite the depth on the bench. I don't know about you, but with Matt yeah. Wheelock, Daniel Carr, and Tama Tuatelli, you talk about three big men that are big guys who can rebound. Yeah. Who All three can shoot. Daniel Carr and Matt Wheelock, more of the shooters. Tama Tuatelli, more of the big as i've been telling Zach, or as i've been telling nick sanglis and our broadcast every week he really reminds me of bully ball with zach randolph and demarcus cousins yeah. two guys yeah. who can extend the range but are also really good guys inside so looking to them i really think they have a lot of depth inside yeah and tama an all-american player all state in football brings his talent to basketball this year and it's really shown the teams needed him on varsity and this year being able to get rebounds and stuff it's definitely changed a lot for the Raider team. This year, they're a lot more solid. Tonight's going to be one heck of a game, Sam and Caleb. Yeah. Any last thoughts? I'm excited for this game, and all I can say, if we, if we can pull off a win, I that's going to be a huge confidence builder. Absolutely, Sam. Caleb, what are three keys for the Raiders to win tonight? I think it's the defense containing Maston and also guarding the three, and we also need to start off very strong. Those are good. Those are going to be the keys for tonight. Thank you guys for being in the studio with me. I'm Mike Manugan with Sam Stern, Caleb Merriweather. Let's watch this basketball game. <laughs>